Why does it take a disaster for us to come together? And why does it take a challenge for us to open up? I'm a female, I'm a lesbian, but I'm also a pastor. Most of my congregation is white and straight. There's no place for me. If they weren't part of my world, I just didn't pay attention. On 12th June 2016, 49 humans were killed in a mass shooting at Pulse, a nightclub serving the gay community. The question I'm asking is, why does it take a tragedy for us to look for unity? I'm a gay pastor from the gay church, 1.4 miles from Pulse. It was devastating. As a pastor of a large church, I thought, we're going to have lots of people calling in who were affected, no calls. I felt so horrible, not because I had so many relationships in that community, but because apparently I had none. Pulse changed everything. Truly different experiences. I guess my question is how you both became friends. The week of Pulse, two of the larger churches in town came together and did vigils for the LGBT community and they didn't include me. I was in this meeting. I'm thinking she's going to be nice and accommodating. We're all here for her community. We have been, as gay people, relegated to the margins. Invite us to the table. I love that strength and I want to get to know her. He met me here, and I knew then that I had an ally that I didn't know I would have. She really made it easy to be her friend. Just two very like-minded people that want to make a difference in the world. It's beautiful to go beyond those labels and beyond those categories. I'd love to hear how you coming together has impacted both your own communities. The year mark of the Pulse tragedy, the Reformation Project had asked if Dr. Hunter would have a conversation about LGBT inclusion. And of course I first said, well sure. And then I thought, how am I going to lead them in a way that's knowledgeable, that really would connect? So I invited a leader in that community. And he invited me to the table. And I said, this takes a lot of guts. <laughs> I did Facebook Live literally from the chair. It brought people from all over an opportunity to see what we're doing here locally. Your relationship isn't now just because you represent different areas. It's beyond that. It's about loving each other as people. Somebody will find hope merely because we're having the conversation. And that is the bottom line of what will change the future. Barbara, can you tell me a little bit about how Pulse began? Our main mission when the, when the Pulse was conceived was that we wanted it to be a beautiful, clean space where you'd be proud to bring your mother. And so it's always been a symbol of love and unity. Always. All the work that you've done, that the community's done, it's, I feel like it's, it's growing. Yeah. And I feel great hope. When hate tries, love wins. Love never fails. Love always finds the sun. Really, 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 really <laughs> exponentially, friend.